What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Balcony Chef Life. Uh, anyways, I uh, hope you guys are doing well during this quarantine. Look what I have today. I have some cherry blossom. Yeah. <laughs> Spring season, of course, is cherry blossom season, mostly well known in Japan as Sakura. Right in front of my house, we happen to have several cherry blossom trees. So, got some flowers from there, check it out. These beautiful annual flowers blossom in the spring. And depending on the exact climate in your area, it can blossom anywhere from February to April. In Japan is where you'll see the most amazing spectacle of cherry blossom, but they can also be found in many other parts of the world. These trees right here in particular had double the amount of flowers just the other day, but due to the high winds the past few days, a lot of them have gotten blown off. We're just going to collect just enough to make something delicious, which doesn't take much and won't do any damage to the tree. And make sure when you're collecting, just collect from different branches. And these trees will produce fruits, but not the kind of cherries that you and I eat. They're much smaller, much more sour. They'll be mainly eaten by birds and insects. We just got back from our daily quarantine walk. Uh, we just take a walk around the around the block or we have a park right next to us too. So it, either or we do that. And here is what we gathered. Some of the cherry blossom. I was inspired by one of this uh, Instagram page that I follow called Forged by Fern and she forages a lot of things out in the UK and we have some similarities as well so um, she did this recently cherry blossom so I wanted to do it as well because it looked really cool and very pretty too so uh, yeah each of these petals I'm basically just gonna pluck them and put them in this cup cherry blossom is utilized a lot in Japan this time of year but you know what we don't see it much here in in the US um, as an ingredient but you can also the leaves are edible as well and I used to use some pickled uh, cherry blossom leaves in the sushi restaurant I used to work at I'm going to put two cups of the cherry blossom petals. So I only have cane sugar. Normally you could use like jam sugar that's filled, that has a pectin in it and it sets better. But I think just regular cane sugar should work too. We'll see. Nah, I think it should be fine. One cup of cane sugar. Just gonna dump that right in. A cup of water. I have a little Hawaiian salt. So we'll just do a couple light pinches. And I think a little bit of heat is really good with jam. So I'm gonna put some sprinkle of chili flakes in there all right and we'll just get that boiling
All right, I think it's done. I'm gonna call it. And look at this. I mean, besides, if you move the flowers out of the way, look at the color. You see that? Beautiful color. But I'm not done yet. I'm just gonna add some lemon zest really quick. If All right, that's it. And while it's still hot, we're gonna move it to the sanitized jar. Ooh, you've made the perfect amount. And we'll just let that cool down and we'll be it'll be ready to eat so it's cooled down enough now oh look at this beautiful smells so good still a little warm so it's a little runny but it's all good all right well this is it Sakura jam with a little chili. Mm, let's taste this. Mm. 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 That's really good. Mm hmm. Yeah. I like that. I like the little spice. Yeah. It's not spicy, it's just a little. Mm hmm. Low kick, yeah. Mm. Just enough citrus too. A little the. I was just thinking that. The lime zest. Mm hmm Gives a nice citrusiness, and the sakura adds just this very light floral kind of accent to it. Mm. What's nice is it's not too floral. Mm -hmm. Cause I actually, I don't really like floral, floral taste of things. Mm -hmm. But this one's like um, it's not very floral. Mm. It doesn't taste like I'm eating perfume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this jam is good. Mm -hmm. I think you can go savory with this jam too. I was actually spice. just thinking, I wonder if we can eat this with cheese. Yeah. I think a cheese would be. Good. Yeah, I think so. That'd be good. Mm. What's funny is I usually don't like, um, it's not that I don't like it. Sakura? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm not like a huge fan. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Sakura. Because mm. I did go, the first time I went to Japan, I was there literally one week before the cherry blossoms happened. Or I was there one week before the cherry blossoms bloomed. So they were selling a lot of cherry blossom stuff. And I tried all of it because I was like, oh, I've got to love this. And I didn't like any of it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. hmm. Kind of tastes like a, a sakura honey. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like a honey, huh? Mm -hmm. Sakura honey. Yeah. Very pretty looking. It's a really nice color. Mm -hmm. Very light, um, light purple, pinkish. I don't know. What, 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 what is that color? Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, that was successful. A little different change of pace in the quarantine uh, type of content. Got to do a little foraging today and yeah, make this sakura jam. It's really good. Well, if you guys have any sakura left uh, around you, go ahead and make it. But we're pretty much coming to the end of sakura season. Mm. And uh, yeah, luckily the wind hadn't knocked everything off yet, but it had pretty much knocked everything else off. Yeah, the last few days have been really windy. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. As always, have a good one. See you next time. Peace. Oh, we didn't drink a beer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I figure it's it's only it's only toast. <laughs> <laughs>